Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. Four-Legged Kangaroos There was a giant kangaroo that lived in the Papua New Guinea highlands 20,000 years ago, and it hopped around on four legs. This animal lived long after some of the largest and most terrifying prehistoric monsters had already gone extinct in Australia. Paleontologists from Flinders University recently examined ancient bones of megafauna discovered at the Nombe Rock Shelter site in Chimbu Province. Their research was part of an effort to understand more about the prehistoric creatures of Papua New Guinea. They used new technological advancements to date the bones and were shocked at the results. We now know that human beings were living alongside giant mammal species for about 40,000 years. Researchers believe the extinct kangaroo species survived an extra 40,000 years in Papua New Guinea because humans rarely visited. The highlands were so sparsely populated in prehistoric times that the giant kangaroos lived relatively peacefully. They only started to die off 20,000 years ago when humans started to invade the region. This shocking evidence proves that humans really did contribute to the death of super megafauna, including woolly rhinos and mammoths. Researchers believe the giant kangaroo was so tall and heavy that it could barely hop. Instead, it hobbled around on its four legs because it was too bulky to move swiftly like modern kangaroos do today. Number 9. The Mighty Megalodon the megalodon was the largest fish that ever lived, and it also may have been the biggest marine predator that ever existed. It's true that Bacillosaurids and some pliosaurs closely matched its bulk, but the megalodon was an unrivaled apex predator in the ocean. It inhabited just about every part of the world and feasted on anything it could sink its teeth into. It devoured whales, seals, and anything else. But was there any animal in the ocean between 17 million and 3 million years ago that could eat this supersized shark? The colossal megalodon could grow over 60 feet in length, and it ate about 2,500 pounds of food a day. There was absolutely nothing known to science that preyed on an adult megalodon, except maybe other megalodons. However, juvenile megalodons were another story entirely. Newly born megalodons often found themselves to be victims of much smaller predatory sharks. For example, great hammerhead sharks shared similar feeding grounds with megalodons throughout the Miocene and Pliocene eras. When given the opportunity, the hammerhead shark would definitely eat a baby megalodon. But when it came to fully grown megalodons, there was nothing else in the ocean that could take them on in a fight. Number 8. The First Terror Birds the earliest birds that lived on this planet were terrifying creatures, and yet they were strangely similar to the birds that are alive right now. The first birds branched off from dinosaurs about 165 million years ago during the Jurassic period. They then coexisted with dinosaurs up until the mass extinction event that took place around 66 million years ago. The extinction of the bigger and meaner dinosaurs allowed birds to rule the Earth and their evolution took off. Researcher Daniel Field and his colleagues from the University of Cambridge recently discovered a new type of bird. The creature is called Janavis finelidens, and it resembled a modern vulture, except its beak was filled with teeth, and it wasn't related to modern birds. It was a close relative of an ancestor of modern birds, one that lived during the last phase of dinosaur existence. This bizarre animal is the missing link between prehistoric birds related to dinosaurs and modern birds like ostriches and ducks. In fact, Field and his team were shocked when they investigated the creature's skull and discovered evidence of a mobile upper beak, the same type of beak that modern ducks have. Now, imagine a bird the size of the biggest vulture alive today, but with a duck's bill filled with razor-sharp teeth. Those were the kinds of bird-like animals that lived before the asteroid killed the dinosaurs. Number 7. Titanoboa When it comes to truly scary prehistoric creatures, the Titanoboa is at the top of the list. If you lived in South America 60 million years ago, the most terrifying thing in the jungle would have been the Titanoboa. It grew over 40 feet long and weighed 2,500 pounds. 
It could have swallowed a human as easily as an anaconda swallows a mouse. It lived in the swamps, rivers, and lakes of ancient South American rainforests, preferring to move through waterways because its body was too heavy to drag across the ground. The titanoboa was a true nightmare serpent, and it would have made even the bravest person cower in fear. Proof of the existence of the titanoboa was discovered only recently. Its remains were found in 2004 in the Cerrejón mine in Colombia. Several vertebrae fossils were uncovered, as well as some shards from the snake's skull. Even with these few physical remains, researchers have been able to determine quite a lot about the ancient serpent. One of the most surprising things is that the titanoboa likely feasted primarily on fish. It was a swamp monster, and it hunted underwater where it had the advantage. Being 40 feet long might sound cool, but it was a bit of a drag when it came to hunting on land. The massive snake was just too slow and vulnerable to hunt prey outside of the water. The diet of the titanoboa likely consisted of fish, turtles, and prehistoric crocodiles. Its teeth were so big that they worked like grappling hooks. Once the giant serpent sunk its fangs into its victim, the poor animal had no chance of escaping. The titanoboa would then strangle its prey with its huge, muscly body before feasting. Number 6. Jousting Ankylosaurs The ankylosaur was one of the most heavily armored dinosaurs that ever lived. This monster had a huge tail that was studded with sharp spikes and its body was covered in thick scales. The ankylosaur was the closest thing we've ever gotten to a biological tank. Up until very recently, scientists were under the assumption that the ankylosaur only used its tail for fighting off predators. However, a recent study has shown that ankylosaurs may have fought each other with their tails in epic jousting matches to assert dominance. Paleontologists used the remains of Zul Kruri-Vastator for their investigation the most complete fossilized ankylosaur currently in existence. The specimen is stored at the Royal Ontario Museum in Canada, and its name, Cruri Vastator, is Latin for destroyer of shins. As you can likely guess, it got its nickname from its 10-foot-long tail of destruction. This particular dinosaur lived 76 million years ago. It was 20 feet in length and weighed 5,500 pounds. The first thing that struck the research team as strange were the broken spikes along its flanks. Clearly, the ankylosaur had sustained some kind of combat damage. Sections of its skin had healed while the beast was still alive. It got into a fight, but then it healed and went on with its life. Further investigation showed that the injuries most likely came from the brutal club of a different ankylosaur. Scientists are now theorizing that the ankylosaur's club tail was used in the same way that deer and antelopes use their horns. They may have been for one-on-one -on -one battles when pursuing mates in the wild to physically dominate and intimidate the competition. And now for number five. But first, I want to give a big shout out to Apple user and Mylan Ivanov. Thanks so much for watching. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and let us know your favorite prehistoric creature in the comments below. Number 5. Noodle-Necked Predator In 2021, scientists came across a dinosaur that looked an awful lot like a penguin. This strange creature is currently the only non-avian theropod dinosaur we know about that had a streamlined body like a penguin. It may have been a diving dinosaur that somehow adapted to plunge into the ocean in search of food. It would have lived on land and breathed air, but it would have had to submerge itself in order to catch fish just like modern penguins do. But while modern penguins are cute and cuddly, these things were terrifying and a little creepy. Oddly enough, this dinosaur had a goose-like noodle neck. It also lived during the Cretaceous period about 71 million years ago in modern Mongolia. The predator is directly related to meat-eating dinosaurs, but it was a truly unique creature. Its perfectly preserved skeleton was uncovered in the Gobi Desert, and scientists have learned a lot from its almost complete skull. The creature was only about the size of a duck, but it had a neck like a goose and flipper-like forelimbs. This dinosaur closely resembled a miniature velociraptor. Researchers have named the prehistoric penguin monster Natovenator polydontis, 
It's a mixture of Latin and Greek, meaning swimming hunter with many teeth. Number four, the weird beast. The Wachiria was an early apex predator that lived about 330 million years ago. Fossils of this amphibious beast have been discovered in Iowa and are currently being kept at the Field Museum in Chicago. The creature was unusually weird, even more so than many prehistoric animals. It looked like an unnatural hybrid of a crocodile and a salamander. And yet this fierce monster was not something other creatures wanted to mess with. It lived long before the dinosaurs and true amphibians or reptiles evolved, ruling the Carboniferous period. Scientists recently did a full examination of the Wachiria's fossilized bones. They found that instead of growing slowly but steadily over time, like later reptiles, this thing grew quickly like mammals do. Within a very short span of time, it grew from a tiny baby to about seven feet long. This creature had a large skull and chunky limbs. It most likely feasted on ancient fish and land-dwelling animals, meaning it could survive in and outside of the water. This makes the Wachiria one of the first major predatory amphibians in the world. Study co-author Ben Otu calls the Wachiria a wonderfully weird beast. He says that if it were alive today, you might mistake it for a giant salamander. It had the size and shape of a caiman, but it didn't have any scales. Number 3. The Monster Turtle Paleontologists recently discovered a terrifying turtle that lived in the ocean 80 million years ago. The fossils of the never-before-seen species were uncovered in Spain between 2016 and 2021. The prehistoric turtle had a length of about 12.3 feet, making it twice the size of the largest modern turtle. It's also currently the largest turtle species ever found in Europe. As usual, researchers gave the turtle a ridiculously long and difficult name. It's called Leviathan Oculus Enigmatica, and it cruised Europe's ancient oceans between 83.6 and 72.1 million years ago. It was only slightly smaller than the extinct Archelon Ischyros, the current record holder for the largest turtle that ever lived, reaching a maximum body length of 15 feet. Researchers found a unique protrusion on the pelvic bone of the ancient turtle, which they believe is linked to its respiratory system. It's unlike anything that's been seen in other extinct turtles, meaning this creature is an entirely new genus. It also seems to prove that there was once an evolutionary line of massive turtles that grew to positively behemoth sizes. There are likely lots of other ancient giant turtle species waiting to be found, we just have to wait and see. Number 2. Scutosaurus The Scutosaurus was a type of pereasaur, and it was a truly muscular monster. This ancient creature was built tough, with a heavy frame of bones layered in thick muscle. This in turn was completely covered by a nearly impenetrable hide, giving the prehistoric monster a full suit of enhanced armor. It wasn't built for speed, but for waddling across ancient Russia where it munched on vegetation. The unusually keen hearing of the Scutosaurus made it a truly terrifying creature. Researchers believe the dinosaur's hearing was so exceptional that it was almost supernatural. It apparently communicated by bellowing ear-splitting calls to other members of its species. This thing scuttled around, standing nearly as tall as a person, wailing like it was being murdered. This was made even worse because the one-ton Siberian titans likely traveled in herds, and their bellows could have been heard from miles away. These creatures were also capable of smelling water from several miles away, a feat not many modern animals are capable of. The land-dwelling Scutosaurus was most likely a distant ancestor of our modern turtles, living about 252 million years ago. Strangely, these creatures couldn't chew their food. Much like the sauropod dinosaurs that came millions of years later, the Scutosaurus likely swallowed rocks to grind up their food for them. Number 1. The Nightmare Shark when scientists were investigating a 370 million year old shark fossil, they made a nightmarish discovery. The previously unknown species had a rotating jaw. 
I'm not even going to try saying its name. I give up. But when it opened its mouth to snatch its victim, its lower jaw stretched downward on both sides. Its teeth then curved up for a more devastating bite. When its mouth was closed, its jaw was rotated inward. But when it opened its mouth, it rotated outward. The prehistoric shark grew new teeth in a row on the inside of its jaw, continuously growing teeth so they kept curving in towards its tongue. So when the shark opened its mouth, its jaw folded down and rotated the teeth up, allowing the shark to bite down on its prey with an unimaginable number of teeth. It's an extremely strange adaptation, and one that clearly didn't work out since no modern sharks have it. Surprisingly, the nightmare shark was only about 13 inches long, and it had a triangular snout. Its eyes were way too big for its head, and its teeth were like a bed of nails in its jaw. When it opened its mouth to make a kill, it would have looked like an alien monster. Thanks for watching! If you could choose just one of these prehistoric monsters, which would you bring back to life? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time! Bye!